What happened to you, Mary Jane? I can't go on without knowing. Not as Spider-Man, not as anyone. Oh, how long you are, Spider-Man. As usual. No, not you again. I still have something very important for you to do. Have you forgotten that I have been preparing you this long while for the most important battle of your life? I remember all of my encounters with you, Madam Webb. I want nothing to do with you. Congratulations, Sony. You've done it. You've made people not like Spider-Man. First it was Venom 2, which was a train wreck. And now it's Madam Webb, which is probably the biggest dookie in a hot minute being a contender against echo and that's me being honest echo was terrible madam webb is kind of getting there the only thing going for it is that the first 20 minutes are watchable and after that there's hot girls around the movie and that's me being brutally honest we follow madam webb we learn her story this is her movie we follow her of how her mom tried to save her with a super secret uh pink spider cool Ezekiel Webb is there, part of the team. She finds a spider. She ends up being killed by Ezekiel because nobody helped him when he was growing up. Not the best villain arc story, but okay, that's all we're getting. And throughout the whole film, Madam Webb ends up figuring out that she has powers. She has uh, clairvoyance and future sight. And we learn her going through her deals with it and learn with it. And Ezekiel, roughly the same time or before, he gets his future vision of seeing his death. And he does his thing to basically stop it from happening, which he builds like a supercomputer. He kills an agent for a code to get into the system, hacker man style. And he figures out how the three girls look. Don't question it, just accept it. He tries to kill them. Okay, cool. Madam Webb finds the three girls by accident. Shocker. In New York. Shocker. And the whole movie turns into a cat and mouse. That's literally the movie. It's not good. It's very boring, not even exciting cat and mouse, like for example, watching Mouse Hunt, if you know that film, very fun film. We get a bunch of situations where Madam Webb and the girls, which if you don't know who the girls are, it's, if I'm correct, it's Julia Carpenter, Spider-Woman, Maddie Franklin, Spider-Woman, and Jessica Drew, Spider-Woman. They have their run-ins with Ezekiel, but they survive every time. He, he becomes like the literal Terminator, killing everything slowly but surely, but always misses the girls. And then the one time that he or it's two times where he gets super close to killing him. Both times he gets hit by a freaking vehicle. His only weakness, a vehicle, you know, it's ridiculous. And it doesn't make much sense because he's also a Spider-Man. He's supposed to have his own powers, and it just feels like they end up nerfing him every single time. Although every other time, apparently nobody can see him because when somebody sees him, Ezekiel, which mind you, he has like a black Spider-Man suit, which, okay, cool. He kills that person. He kills those cops. He kills the people around. He just starts yeeting everybody left and right. But when it comes to the girls, he becomes the little Terminator or cool cats from Curse Curry Dog. <laughs> And it's just like this slow, awkwardly menacing character. And the one time he does kill him was a future sight moment in the diner, which I think is a trailer. Yeah, makes no sense. Takes the whole heavyweight of the movie because you realize, oh, she's clairvoyant. She can stop the death. He's never going to be hurt. So this is fine. We don't have to worry about anything. Wait, you don't have to worry about anything. Then what's the point of watching the movie? They're going to be fine at the end. Yeah, I know. Then what's the point of the movie? We just get to watch hot girls do hot girl things and complain that's that's literally it and we get to learn that madam webb is still annoying throughout basically 80 percent of the film granted in the animated series she was a very trolley character she was fun ish and pretty mean against peter my dear boy what whoever said that everything was supposed to be perfect who said that i did who's there who are you isn't the real question who are you <laughs> But she still helped him out. This just shows her as just being a total B-word. And I don't know about you, but I'm not a fan of her in the movie. Again, they're all attractive women, but man, it's like watching a wet paper try to entertain you. And whew, I don't know what to say. This film had potential to be cool. It could have been a fun thing. We could have gotten like maybe an early Peter Parker and Madam Webb's like point of view. 
something like that or maybe she could have been jumping to meet like the different spider woman because if i'm correct one of the spider women actually replaced peter parker that could have been really cool by the way or hell i know this is a stretch and some of y'all might not know but we could have gotten like charlotte witter's spider-man spider-woman and that's like an evil spider-woman but oh see that's just me going ahead now but no to go back this film is honestly just very boring it, you don't really care much for anybody even like the dialogue and the scenes Everything is just, it, everything happens just to happen. It's just like, oh, now we're going to do this. Now we're going to do that. Oh, look, this is a picture of like the, the most infamous one. I think it became a, a joke was uh, when she's go, when she goes back to her house and she finds like the, her mom's box and it shows like her diary, her notes, and they, they find her a picture of her, her, of her mom with Ezekiel. And they're like, oh, who's this? <gasps> that's him. That's, that's Ezekiel Webb. He used to work with my mom in finding the spider. He must be the, he should have been the one that killed her. Where the hell did you get that from? I'm sorry. Where you were, you were not born. How did she know anything of that? All that shows me is they were acquaintances. How did you get that? Like their whole work partnership. I don't. Yes. This happens by the way. Yeah doesn't make any sense this movie does really good at making no sense and even i noticed it there's some jump cuts that just make even more no sense where they're standing in one position and they, it does like a jump cut they're still talking over you know to the scene and it cuts off to another scene but then now they're completely sitting or they're in a vehicle and they're just you're like wait what like weren't you just over here now you're over here but you're still talking as if you were just there so not why are you over here yeah the more you think about it the more this film just falls apart fast again i know i'm rambling on now but this movie just does not it's just no it's a no for me man even though everybody's beautiful the girls are great the movie itself nah and kidding by the way spoilers killing ezekiel after she got avatar powers because apparently everybody has avatar powers not even spider-man has avatar powers or madam webb does it was completely unnecessary to have product placement kill ezekiel webb the giant pepsi's logo kills him go buy pepsi guys ha cha you know go go on get yeah it's no go go save save your money save your brain cells i can't even make fun like happy joy over here it's just it's just a very sad movie Go enjoy your weekend, guys, gals. Go watch Spider-Man 1994 and have a good show with that. Take care. Did I just take a trip through the Twilight Zone or what? Well, this kind of weird stuff is why I'm quitting. Hey, it's that letter Robbie gave me. How did it get here? Huh.